Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, it's just about me talking um, vlog style. So it's not, not so much about creating something inside Bitwig. As someone on the net here asked, uh, can someone explain why the grid is better than a modular VST? A modular DAR is super awesome concept, but most of the tutorials I saw were just using the grid to build conventional synth stuff. What does the deep integration with the DAR itself allow me to do? that I can't just do with, say, Reactor OpenVCV as a VST. And nothing. That's the answer. You can't, you can't do more. It's just conventional, uh, conventional synth stuff. There's nothing more you can do. And all the other DAWs and all the other modular environments and Eurorack, it's all about the same conventional synth stuff now for decades. There's nothing new. That's all there is. There is just sine waves uh, modulated sine waves, distorted sine waves, and in the end it's all just vibrations. There is, you have to change your ears if you want something new, basically. You can do everything uh, with Reactor, you can do with the grid. And you can probably do more in Reactor, you can do more in Reactor and OpenVCV than in, uh, in the grid right now. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point. The point is basically um, how you approach things, how you approach your end result, how you travel, um, not where you're traveling. You're always traveling to a WAV file in the end. You want to have and you want to release. Maybe sometimes people just want to play around and delete the stuff afterwards. I don't know. Um, but in the end, you always end up with, uh, with, an, with an just regular WAV file. And um, yeah, it's about the fun you have while creating it. It's about not losing your focus of your creativity. If you have an, an idea in your mind and you need one hour or two hours to set up Reactor, or open VCV or find the right module, then you're doing something wrong. It's about open your Bitwig, open the grid, hooking up three modules and having a nice sound and jamming into your uh, stardom. <laughs> so um, that's not about the features. Uh, it's not completely not about the features. Everything you do today in a DAW or an audio application is something you could do 20 years ago, result-wise. All that, that changed was how you how easy it is to approach it, how easy it is to access it, and how the workflow is. For instance, I have this um, this um, yeah ad. I saw this ad today in my Facebook stream, and um, I don't know. Most of the ads now have a wooden desk, and you have a coffee mug, and you have a book that you just read. Uh, besides making music on your controller. But as you can see, in this controller you have audio clips and you have synthesizers integrated, so it's a small DAW. And you you, prob you probably just can do uh, five things with this uh, controller. You can probably do more with, with a DAW or with Bitwig or something like that. But But it's not about that, it's about how you approach making music. So you have buttons you can uh, use the knobs to turn turn it and um, yeah you have different accessibility um, there's more haptic yeah, um, different way of doing things and uh, but in the inside you just have the regular conventional synth stuff you have for decades right um, so this is also just about how you approach uh, making music and um, yeah, that's also with the grid, the same stuff. Um, 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 when you have these modules, for instance, in, in Reactor, you have pretty fine-grained modules. When you try to create a, a patch, you have to start with, with values and constants and um, logic modules to just create some basic kind of uh, patch. And uh, in Bitwig not so much. You can basically have three uh, three modules, and you have an 
envelope and oscillator and if you turn some knobs here you have even a nice stereo image and um, that's it so it's the right the, the right f grained the right grained f um, size of of modules to create fast your idea or bring your idea out of your head into your DAW. I just edited the video and I want to insert some thoughts here at this point. Um, there's also on the net you see a vocal majority of people that want certain things in a DAW and there are a lot of users that don't post at all at, at the internet. They just use the application and that's it. They don't post or have opinions or something like that. So I think if you have this, this is basically the user base of Bitwig. And I think this small portion of the community is wanting the grid or having a modular environment. And it depends on the integration, uh, what you put inside the grid and whatnot and how you uh, uh, design it and how big this portion of the community is. And I think a lot of people in the community wanted more, something like Reactor, but that means that you have a smaller portion of people that actually using it because it's too complicated. But Bitwig got, got it right, I think, with the design. So that they put it, most of the modules make it, make it pretty easy to um, create something inside the grid. So we have a bigger portion of the community that using actually the grid. So a small portion is maybe a bit sad because uh, we can't do um, uh, convolution, uh, reverbs um, and so on, so heavy technical stuff. And, but the other portion of the community is pretty um, surprised because they can use it. Um, they never used maybe a modular environment, but they now can use it. So I think it's... Uh, and that's why also I think it was around the Eurorack hype um, two years ago, one year ago, um, that they uh, released reactor blocks and then come out soft tube modular and um, VCV rack and so on. So you have more like high level abstracted modules. But I would, I would say um, Bitwig is somewhere in between, between reactor fine grained and um, um, some high level abstracted dual rack modules. So uh, something in between. You have the right size with the right opinions, what you need in your daily life or when you create sounds. So as you can see, you have a skew here and the fault. You don't see that in normal uh, oscillators when you open up modular environments. There is some uh, some ideas, some thoughts uh, flowing into this environment, right? So there's an opinionated, opinionated um, environment. And um, that's why I like it. That's why I use it and that's why I think it's the best a modular environment for me at the moment. Wow, that sounded like an ad, but it isn't. I don't get money for that. I just like Bitwig. I think it's the right, it's in the right position. It's in, it has the right approach to making music because it's playful. You have everything integrated you need. You have all the new uh, features you really like nowadays when you make music nowadays i mean you have these trends right there's also um, different music styles we make different music than 20 years ago and um, because we have now all these tools at our hands and um, for instance 20 years ago it was very important to have a clean sound you have you don't have noise you have denoisers and uh, um, having a nice stereo field and making things loud. Nowadays, it's completely backwards. You want you have a vaporwave where you have uh, music that sounds like your batteries are empty on your Walkman. So uh, you make a lot of stuff that to, to introduce noise so that your sound is not so clean. Uh, so it's completely the opposite. So it's like we have now all the tools to make it clean. So now we try to make it dirty. And back in the days, we had we had not the tools to make it clean and we try to make it as, as clean as possible. So it's com completely the opposite. Humans. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, what I want to say again. Um, yeah, bit because the right is in the right position, I think. Uh, from the pricing, from the features, from the workflow, it's it's pretty playful. You have fun playing around in bit inside Bitwig. And if you don't focus too much on the features, wow, it doesn't have comping. I can't do music anymore. It doesn't have comping. Please give me another door. Then you probably don't have fun. But um, if you if you find a way around these um, shortcomings, around these not integrated features at the moment, you have a lot of fun with Bitwig, and that's that's the point for me. And that's what I see. I see the the bigger goal, the the bigger uh, vision of Bitwig. So um, that's why I am using it. And it's also from Berlin. Um, yeah, um, I think uh, that's it for this video. I just want to talk about this stuff because I also saw some comments on videos about comping and um, Bitwix not good for mastering and certain stuff like that. I mean, it has faders. You can do stuff loud and and uh, quiet. So it's <laughs> it's no problem to mastering something inside Bitwig um, if you know your stuff. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.